What's up guys, welcome to your 22nd After Effects tutorial. And in this time, or this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about mats again. But instead of just using a still picture or a graphic as a mat, I'm going to show you how to use an entire channel as a mat. And this gives you an awesome uh, background effect. So let's go ahead and the first um, source you want to work with is your background. So I got um, this right here. It's just a video of uh, one of my friends talking, pretending to be a news reporter. And go ahead and drag it in your composition symbol and it will make it the exact same size as your composition. Now I want that one first because when I drag another clip on top of it, I want it to stack on top of it. So let's go ahead and find another clip of me talking. And as you can see, um, just put it right in the middle and it should snap into place. So now we have um, a video of me and video of my friend underneath me. So the first thing we have to do is make the video of me black and white since that's the best way you can use a mat is to make it black and white just like the last time that flower in that little oval I think it was those images were black and white so if you're saying alright how do you make an entire clip black and white well to make it black and white the first thing you want to do is go over in your effects and presets and look for tint it should be under color correction just press in tint and it pops up so go ahead and grab that and drag it on your um, video and as you can see the whole thing turns black and white and that is a uh, right here where it says tint you can play around with that but what we want to do is bring out the contrast so it's sharp black and sharp white so let's go ahead and type contrast and you see this thing that says brightness and contrast go ahead and bring that and drag it over on your composition and now what we need to do is over in our effects controls this automatically pops up go ahead and turn the contrast all the way to the right now you can see instead of just um, a black and white tint like this like an old movie we get a sharp black and white image so again once you add tint and keep the defaults at tint the only thing you have to alter is turn contrast up to 100% on brightness and contrast we get this nice cool black and white video on top of our um, regular video right here so this is the first layer it's going to be the background and this is the layer that's on top of it it's going to be the map so let's go ahead and um, go to our track mat on uh, the very first layer and go ahead and change it to luma mat and as you can see now once you play my video we now have a mat of me on the video with the background of the old video so it's a uh, a lot cooler if, like you put it up here or something there we go and that is how you can use one video as a mat and another video as a background as a still image so again um, that's how you can combine a mat when using not only a still image but also videos as well so again the keys to this is don't forget to add brightness and contrast turn your contrast all the way up and also make your tint black and white so you have a nice mat to work with otherwise it's gonna look weird so um, that's that for this tutorial uh, play around with it and do exactly as I did and once you do you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.